Swipe Software is a Windows desktop application designed to make it easier for you to process transactions from your PC. You can download Swipe from your Merchant Control Panel and walk through the standard Windows application install process. Installation should be relatively quick, and once it is complete, you'll be able to launch the app and sign in. You can sign in with your gateway username and password. After you hit OK, you'll be greeted by a small window that is the Swipe application. Swipe software works with card readers, so you need to have one that you either purchased through us or an unencrypted card reader that you have confirmed works with the software. The first time you plug in a card reader, it may have to install some drivers, which can take anywhere from 10 seconds to a couple minutes. Once the drivers are installed and the reader is ready to go, the display on screen will change to Swipe Card. You can go ahead and swipe a credit card, then enter an amount, and on the specific card reader we're using, it asks the customer to confirm that amount. After the customer confirms, we'll show approved and ask you if you would like to print the receipt. We're going to say no in this case. After the transaction is complete, Swipe moves to the background of your computer, but does not shut down. Instead, it sits in your system tray, and you can swipe a card through your card reader at any point, and it will bring it to the front. Let's swipe another card. As you can see, Swipe comes to the front. We enter an amount. The customer confirms. And there we go, another successful transaction. The card reader you are using may have a keypad on it that you can use to key in transactions as well. If you have one of these card readers, as we do here, you can hit the OPT button and then select Key In. That refreshes the card reader and there's a new option that allows you to key in a card. You hit that, key in the credit card number, the expiration date, and the CVV, and the rest is like normal. You enter the amount on the computer, and the customer confirms. As you can see, Swipe software is ready to go out of the box, and does not require much setup at all. However, there are some options you can change as the need arises, as well as a few other features that you can take advantage of. This can all be found under the OPT for Options button, and you have the option to view last receipt, in which case we'll bring up a window with a receipt for the last transaction. You can hit Print Last Receipt, which will do the same thing, but give you the option to print. There's an option for Refund, as well as Reports. Both of these will open your default browser and have you log into your Gateway account. Running refunds and looking at your reporting all happens within the Gateway itself and cannot be done through Swipe software, but Swipe gives you the option to get there quickly. Clicking into Options allows you to modify some other settings in the app. All of the options are protected by your password, so it will prompt you for your password, and then show the Options page. You can change the username that you're logged into for Swipe. You can change the computer name, which will change what shows up in your transaction history. You can change the number of receipts that are printed. We default to one, but you can enter as many as you'd like. Type of transaction is where you can decide what happens when you swipe a card. The default is to run a sale. However, you can change this to authorization only, or if it's active on your account, you can add the customer to the vault. The Select Printer dropdown will show you a list of all printers connected to your computer, and you can choose which one you want to print from. This is the only print setting for Swipe. Any other changes you would like to make to your printers, such as adding more printers or changing the margins, would be done at the Windows system level. Accept eSignature from Customer is what we saw earlier, where the card reader will prompt the customer to confirm the total amount. Prompt for Merchant Defined Fields will determine whether you want Swipe to ask you to fill out your Merchant Defined Fields for every transaction. And likewise, Prompt for Additional Card Info will ask for other information such as Order ID. As an example for what these will show, if we go to run another transaction, after the amount is entered, you can see a pop-up window come up where we ask for the Order ID, Order Description, and Customer Email. Add Customer is where you can decide if you want to add that customer to your customer vault again, if that feature is active on your account. And below that, we'll display your merchant defined fields. We'll display all active ones on your gateway. In this case, I just have one, so I can go ahead and set it. And when I'm done, I hit OK. The rest of the transaction process is as normal. Swipe Software is a simple and fast solution for merchants who want to run card present transactions from their computer.